All right. I literally just got an email that says Google has released a new AI image generating model. And looking at it here, it looks pretty good. Imagine three. Is it going to be better than ChatGPT's DALL-E three? Is it going to be comparable to MidJourney? I don't know. Google's last uh, AI image generators weren't that good and there was some controversy. So I'm going to tell you all about it, show you how to access this brand new AI image generator from Google. And we're going to do some quick head to head, maybe head to head, head comparisons. Uh, all right, let's jump into it and let me tell you what we got going on. So my name is Jordan Wilson and I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI. So if that sounds like you, please subscribe to this channel, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter. So we do this thing called AI in five, which is where we show you kind of an AI tool, tip, trick, tutorial, et cetera. So we're going to be trying Imagine 3. Uh, so you can, uh, I'll leave this link in the, um, in the video description, but you are going to need to sign up to try Image FX. So I signed up, I think, a while ago, and I literally just got the email. So I don't know if that means if it's open to all. It might be a, a, a beta thing. I'm not sure. So don't get mad if you don't get access to it. Uh, just sign up if you want access to it. Uh, then you will be logging into essentially Google's uh, AI test kitchen, and then you'll have this drop down. So it looks like I might have access to a lot of different features, but we're going to work uh, or focus on Image FX, uh, which is where the new Imagine 3 uh, model is. So we're going to just, we're going to get right at it, right? These are unedited, unscripted. You're seeing it live as it happens. I'm just type, I have a couple simple prompts saved. So uh, I say realistic photo of, ooh, I like this. Okay, realistic photo of the Chicago skyline, cinematic, bright and vivid colors at sunset. I'm going to run the same things inside chat GPT uh, so we can look at Dolly 3's output. Uh, and then also inside of MidJourney, okay? So we're going to try all of these and just kind of see how this new model from Google compares. So right away, pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, wow, okay. So a, a couple things. You can do the default here. You can toggle to best quality. Uh, let's see what else there is. Edit history. Uh, okay, this is, you can get the seed. Um so it looks like you can probably work with that uh, in the future. Similar, you can do that in mid-journey. I'll have to do another video if you guys find this helpful and want to see more about this, we can do it. I like this kind of drop down. You, you know what, Google, as confusing as it is to be like, what version of Google Gemini am I using? Why is it not you know, allowing me to upload my data? How can I work, right? Google Gemini, I think, is a mess. Um, but Google is great with UI UX, and I love the UI, uh, the, the interface and the experience here of this. So you get four generations, uh, which you also get in mid-journey. Dolly used to do that. You only get one now. So let's just kind of do a quick head-to-head-to-head -to -head -to -head and see how the quality stacks up. Not bad. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, Google. Uh, I was thinking it was going to be Dolly quality, but it's... I don't know if it's mid-journey quality, but it's definitely above Dolly. Like, I don't even know if we need to compare it, right? Dolly, at least three, you get this very uh, generic, very, you know, photo, like, it, not photo, sorry, you, like painting, illustrations. It looks like computer graphics, CGI, right? Also, uh, did not do a good job of replicating the Chicago skyline. I mean, eventually, we will probably get better outputs uh, inside of ChatGPT, like uh, assuming we will get something Sora quality for photos. We know that Sora can generate photos as well, uh, OpenAI's new AI uh, text-to-video uh, platform. So presumably, this will get much better. I don't know if anyone, I don't know anyone that really uses Dolly. I just thought it would be a fair comparison. Uh, so let's look at mid-journey here. Um, so I think... Technically, I think Google did the worst in um, kind of prompt handling because I did ask for bright and vivid colors, right? Uh, technically, uh, Dolly and Midjourney did a much better job. Uh, Dolly just gave me some random city. This does look pretty much um, inside Midjourney. It does look like Chicago, but the photo is actually itself pretty good. Uh, all right, let's see a couple other features. It looks like we can do some editing. Uh, you can copy, download, share, flag the output, et cetera. So let's go ahead and click edit. 
Okay. So, I mean, the colors aren't very vivid. Uh, so let's just go ahead and say it's, it's kind of dark. I don't want to redo the whole thing. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to try to highlight the sky here, you know, not doing a lot of fine uh, detail. So we'll see how it handles this. Um, I'm guessing this might turn out disastrously. Uh, so I'm going to do this and I'm going to say, uh, please, I'm going to say, please make the sky area more vivid in color and brighter. Okay. Uh, so it has in painting. That's something that you technically, uh, you know, have in Dali uh, as well, right? I can do the same thing. Um, so let's see how, uh, okay. So it did actually a much better job than I thought. The colors still aren't super vivid. So again, not great at prompt handling, but the quality is pretty good, right? Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try the same thing here for the uh, for the water. Let's see if we can make it a little more blue. I'm gonna say, please make the water brighter blue. All right, simple. And, and again, it does a good job of kind of filling in, filling in the lines, right? I didn't do a great job with the brush. I could have done a smaller brush size and went a little slower. Okay, so interesting. It made the water bluer. So it did this to all the photos, which is interesting. So it also decided to add a boat, uh, which, all right, that's fine. I don't hate it. So pretty good. Let's do another one here. All right, so we are going to do uh, this prompt. Let's go ahead and cancel out of here. I should do mid-journey first since it usually takes a little bit longer. Okay. ChatGPT is always done first. So here I'm saying DSLR photo of a man in his mid thirties wearing a vintage suit standing in a bustling 1920 street cinematic lighting. So obviously one thing that Dolly is not good at right now is photorealistic photos, right? Everything looks like a cartoon, CGI, really no matter what prompts that you use. Again, this isn't a quick video about prompting. We're doing natural language prompts, right? Uh, you know, in the older version of Midjourneys, you could really, you had to really speak Midjourney to it, right? Like in four, uh, V4, V5. Now uh, V6 and 6.1 are much better at natural language. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just uh, kind of an even uh, test across the board. Okay. Okay. Okay, Google, imagine three. My gosh, this is much better than I was expecting. Wow. Okay. Wow. All right. Let's look at uh, mid journey here. You know what? If I'm being honest again, I think mid journey could get better, uh, you know, with some better prompting. This is lazy prompting. I'm just doing this uh, for easy examples, but y'all, if I'm being honest, when I compare these two, is Google's imagine three better than mid journey? My gosh, it might be. Okay. I was not expecting this y'all. Uh, all right. We're going to do one more. So I wanted to do two of people because usually that's where you can tell the quality, right? Like, does this look real or does this look fake? All right. So we're going to do one more here. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, so far with Imagine 3 from Google. You know, I'm tough on Google because I think their Google Gemini is not really good. Um, and they obviously with their uh, old Imagine 2 inside of Google Gemini, they ran into a lot of problems with it. The AI image generator got taken down for a long period of time. It was, uh, you know, showing photos or creating photos that were historically inaccurate to say the least, right? Um, so let's jump in now. Our next one, Wow. Okay. Uh, so our next one here, it only gave me one. So this is interesting. We're not seeing a lot of consistency um, out of Imagine 3. Um, I wonder why. Let's see here. Okay. Okay. So let me try it again. Okay. Maybe it's because I was in this like single uh, photo view versus the four view. I'm not sure. Uh, Let's try that again. So uh, obviously, you know, chat GPT, you get something that looks uh, like a cartoon. Uh, let's see. Oh, maybe we didn't. Oh, here we go. So mid journey, pretty good, but we're getting, we're getting some different styles here, right? I did say photo realistic image. Uh, so most of these look a little cartoony. I would say 
this is the only one that looks like it could in theory be a photo, photo realistic, right? So we're looking at the quality, but we're also looking at the prompt handling. Um, so mid journey had one pretty good one there. Uh, chat GPT, you know, Dolly joke as always. Um, I don't know why this one wasn't working. Uh, again, this was just released. Um, you know, so maybe we're just running into some issues. Uh, maybe there's a lot of people using it all at once. Uh, let's see if I can even go back and Okay. So now it gave, it gave me two, uh, actually the first one was a little bit better. So not sure in the inconsistencies, but again, imagine three better prompt handling. Uh, let's see, I want to zoom in. Uh, let's see. I'm not even sure how I can zoom in. Okay. So I can't, I wanted to zoom in on the, um, on the fingers. Everything looks, everything looks good. I see the right number of fingers. You know, that's what you always look at. This is pretty impressive, if I'm being honest. I, I was not expecting this. All right, we're going to do one more. Um, okay, and it looks like you can reach. Okay, you can't regenerate uh, with that button. All right, we're going to do one more uh, just for fun here. So now we're doing one uh, that's more uh, artistic, I guess, okay? So for this one, I'm saying giant treehouse village in a dense Bali jungle, uh, cinematic sunrise, wide angle inside of a treehouse looking out. Okay. So we got, uh, we got fisheye angle here. Uh, not that great, um, from Dali, but that's to be expected. Uh, okay. We got some, uh, okay. I like this from, uh, from mid journey here. We got some nice looking photos, did pretty good with the prompt handling. You can't technically tell that you're inside looking out. This could just be from outside, uh, but it looks like it got everything else uh, pretty, pretty well done uh, on a mid journey. So let's see, imagine three. This is in my head. This is what I was thinking, right? I was saying from the inside looking out uh, quality looks pretty good again. Uh, this does look a little bit like, uh, you know, painting, illustration, computer, or AI generated, but not a lot, if I'm being honest, right? Uh, so, wow. Imagine three. Did not see this coming. Wow. Okay. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If you want to see more either of this Imagine three, uh, or if you want to see uh, a, a little bit uh, of these other uh, kind of new features. So the the video, uh, video FX, uh, music FX, et cetera. Let me know what you want to see. Please subscribe to this channel. Go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for the free daily newsletter. Every single day, uh, we have a daily live stream podcast, newsletter, tutorial. Get after it. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know. What do you think? Is this good or am I just uh, tired? Let me know. Thanks, y'all.